all right here we go again you got mr law jones coming at you with a brand new video here i uh, hope all is well with you all hope you staying safe out here and everything uh if you haven't done so already uh subscribe to the channel like the videos i really appreciate it uh, i'm trying to get a little bit better with the uh you know with these videos here like i said i'm still pretty new to the youtube world so uh, just trying to you know get a little bit better at it so uh today um this video is going to kind of cater to people who have this uh this generation of cadillac devilles and even the eldorados uh from like 92 to 2002 um but this body style of the deville right here that started in 94 and it ended in 99 um so this is going to be the infamous uh trunk pop uh trunk pop issue that they that these cars don't work on them anymore so if you have uh one of these cars still like i said 94 to 99 uh deville or even like uh 92 to 02 el dorado um this video is gonna apply to you um this will hopefully this video will help out um i still have my original key fob here uh, to this thing here so as you see it right here um i'm pushing the trunk button as you see it's not working not doing anything and then as i go to the car um the uh, trunk pop in the inside of the vehicle is not working so i'm not going to take it all off because I, I did get it working on mine so i don't want to take a lot of stuff off at all but i'm going to just try to do a walk around and just try to show you what kind of tools that you'll need to do this here so that way it'll work so um just what i used on mine to get mine to work so let me uh go ahead and pop the trunk open on here and um so the only way you can get it in your car is going to be with the key so what I had to use was to get this thing to work again. Um, like I said, you know, unfortunately, you can't find these uh, this trunk pop uh, mechanism at, you know, you can't find them brand new unless you happen to come across one that's new old stock. Um, best way you're going to have to do it, you're going to have to go to like a pick and pull yard or your nearest junkyard, salvage yard or whatever. And uh, you're just going to have to have them to pull one. So the one that you'll want to pull off here to make it work if you like 96 they did an update change on them so um how how you how you figure that okay so first two years so in 94 and 95 model years they kind of had this little flat fat little plug-in right here and then in 96 all the way up they kind of went with a different little style of plug-in right there i hope you can see it man this uh man i swear my zoom is just horrible right now let's see if we can get something better than this here so let's see uh let's try that okay yeah so if you see it right here it's a little bit different so it has a different little plug on it so what i ended up doing i ended up pulling off one uh this ended up coming off a 2002 el dorado so that's the one that was able to work um so it'll look something like this here but like i said it you know it has a little you know deal right here the cable and so what tools that you'll need to take this off here you're gonna need a 10 millimeter socket um and then you if you need to uh, need a 10 millimeter uh, socket to take these two bolts out of here uh ratchet three eighths um like if you go back here you have even two uh two nuts right here where my finger is at hopefully you can see that those are eight millimeter so you will need that eight millimeter 516 that'll take those two off this will come off and uh and so what this does here and what i end up replacing also with that i'm gonna put this in the description below of the video um end up replacing this uh this trunk uh trunk trunk uh, warning uh system right here so mine was original to the car i ended up had to replace this this little deal right here so if you ever get a message that says trunk open a lot of times these things does kind of hinder where your trunk pop does not work so um so i did replace that and uh i did go with the ac delco one and uh if you see the part number right here which is going to be uh d d1459 c or you could follow the gm part number which is 16608046 so i used that i replaced that and uh i ended up had to put a new connector wire right here as you see it right here um so i ended up had to replace that and reason being because keep in mind that the connector on the updated trunk pop is different from the original one that was on the car so this is going to be the part number for this one here um it's going to be pt uh 377 or you can follow the gm part number which is uh 1210 2750 and uh so what i ended up doing um i just cut off a little bit of the 
fact the original wire on here because this it has a pretty long length of wiring on here i think it had about 18 inches so i cut off about six off of it so i left quite a bit on here so i always like to leave a little bit i read i rather leave a little bit more than not having enough because if you cut it too short you're in trouble so that way if i ever had to cut some more of his i got plenty of it to cut so i'm good um so what i ended up had to do so um, i ended up plugging this here uh, so you know this here plugs right here uh, ended up using so you had a crimp a wire here you're gonna crimp one right here on the original wire right here if you see my thumb right here so you're gonna crimp that just a little bit you don't need much and then crimp this off here you run a little uh, butt connector right here this is weatherproof right here uh, if you got like a little um like a little match lighter a little small torch you can burn this up here or you don't have to do anything because you shouldn't have water going in there unless let something else going on so um so i got that in here and uh it plugs up right here and all it does is just push on so you just got the cable right here it's the only thing the cable is for so when you get ready to hook, put your key in here this will work so um, like I said, I'm not going to take it down because I, I've already hooked mine up. So I'm just trying to give like a little basic walk around or whatever. So uh, let me show you that it does work. And one of the things that people uh, tend to do on these here, and a lot of people get confused with, and I even got confused with it a couple of times myself, is, um, you know, in here they have like a valet, uh, valet button in these cars here too. So when you come here into the glove box, as you see, um, it's pushed on. Okay, so if you push that on, it's not going to work. So just double check this here. So make sure this is out like that. So if you see it, you can see it's a little bit close. You see like a little bit of red. So that lets you know that is, you know, that's that's where you want to be right there. That way you ensure that it works. So um, so let me go around. So since I got it off, like I said, um, so I'm going to use my key fob right here. I'm going to push the button. And there you go. Now it's working. So this was really... This is really like mind boggling to me, but I had to replace a couple of things for that to work. So, um, so yeah, like so I'm very happy with this. Um, like I said, it does work now. And uh, I'm gonna go to the car in the inside here and show you that it works that way too. And uh, right here, inside, drive side of the car, I'm gonna push the button. So on these here, it's the only way this work inside here too. So you gotta make sure that you have your key on because you gotta have power on here to make this work here. So once you got your power on, you can push the button. There you go, it works. Trunk popped up. And so it kind of works the same way too. Has your gas button as well too. So make sure you power on and you see the gas doors open. But um, so like I said, that's pretty much it. It was very, very simple. Uh, very easy to do. It took me about 10 minutes to do it. And one of the most important things is it's like a little slot that's in here. And you have to make sure you line it up. Because if you do not line it up, your trunk pop will never work. So keep that in mind too. So um, just wanted you to wanted you to see this. And uh, hopefully this will work out for somebody. Um, if you've got any questions or comments, anything like that. I know this is a very short video. I try to do more of a show and tell. But like I said, since I already put it together. So and I didn't want to take it back apart. So I was just like, you know what, let me just show it this way here. So Hopefully this will work out for somebody, but like I said, if you got any comments, questions, anything like that, please feel free to reach out to me. And uh, y'all take it easy. Have a good weekend, and I will talk to you soon.